Today we will understand the importance and do some practical examples of keywords types that commonly used in OET listening part A. As we mentioned before in the previous video that there is two types of keywords. Firstly, the constant keywords, that we can use it as a landmark to keep our place during listening. And the changeable keywords that may appear in the audio tape as a synonym or being paraphrased. Now, let us practice and discover how to distinguish and use these two types of keywords. Now, read the following questions and discover each type of keywords. We will mark the constant keywords with blue and the changeable keywords in red. Now have a look at this real exam paper of listening part A and discover each type of keywords. You have 30 seconds only to do this. Here is our differentiation between each type of keywords. So generally speaking, you will discover that most of the keywords are changeable being underlined with a red line and very little keywords are constant type being underlined with blue line. And this is the first important observation. So, you have to expect synonyms or paraphrasing most of the time in the audio tape. Now listen to the audio tape to be sure of our first important observation. So, Sarah, the nurse has just informed me that you're here with a scratch on your left eye. Is that correct? Yes, it's quite painful. Have you taken any pain relief for it? Not yet. OK. While I'm having a look, can you tell me how this happened? Well, it was my little boy's fingernail, actually. Hmm. We have a two-year-old, and I was in the park trying to put his coat on. It happened when he pushed his hand through the sleeve... It's my fault, really, because I should have trimmed them days ago, but every time I try, he rolls his hands into a fist and refuses to let me near them. Hmm, he's definitely scratched it. It looks to me to be a minor abrasion, which is good news. I'll be able to give you some lubricating drops to keep it moist and comfortable while it heals. Are you sure, Doctor? It feels like there's something in there. My vision is different somehow, and my eye seems to be really sensitive to light now. I had to cover it with my hand. Also, while I was in the waiting room, I noticed that it was starting to twitch, like it was trying to get something out. And now, as you can see, the tears are just pouring out. It may feel larger than it actually is, and the symptoms you describe are quite common, even for the most superficial abrasion because a similar thing happened to a friend of mine. It wasn't from her child. I think she was gardening and somehow scratched her eye. She ended up getting an ulcer. Hmm. I definitely don't want something like that. And that's really worrying because she ended up losing some of her sight. It's been troubling her ever since. Let me assure you, complications such as the one your friend experienced typically only occur when a very deep abrasion is left untreated. So, you can notice that most of the keywords were paraphrased. That is why we have to differentiate between both types of keywords. Here is a list of paraphrased keywords. Corneal abrasion in left eye, became, a scratch in left eye. Also, caused by, became, how this happened. And, has begun to, became, was starting to and, patient concern, became, a similar thing happened and, possibility of developing, became, ended up getting. That is the importance of being well prepared of such paraphrasing of changeable keywords and anticipate it. 
For more free tips and tricks to pass OET exam easily, subscribe to our YouTube channel with activation of the notification bell to get all tips regularly straight away. Also you can join our free WhatsApp group for practicing, or subscribe to our paid online services and courses straight away. All these links will appear in the first line of comments. Matrix Training Center wishes you a very successful exam experience and a brilliant future.